Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Flag and Speaks. But it's a little bit different today because I'm not in a studio. I'm going to be trying to do Flag and Speaks a little bit more, but a little bit different than when I was in a studio, you know, with a green screen and all behind me. So, we're just going to be playing actual Minecraft, and today I'm taking out these, I'm taking out this entire jungle, so I might as well, you know, get two things accomplished. But, anyway, so there's some things I want to talk about today. By the way, this is also unscripted. I'm just seeing it how I feel and watching it all go down. So, apologies if it sounds a little choppy, <laughs> I guess you can call it. But, um... One of the things I wanted to talk about is Spotify and Neil Young. Okay, so for most of my viewers, you probably don't even know who he is. I didn't even know who he was, who he is myself until I looked him up and looked at what's going on. One of the things that I wanted to discuss was how um, how the entire community is taking it. So basically, Neil Young basically removed. He's a he's a musician. He's a rock star. Long time ago. And he, I mean, he's still alive. He still, I think he still makes music. I'm not quite sure, but he, he's, he was on Spotify, okay? And the, he recently removed his music from Spotify because he doesn't like how Spotify is allowing misinformation on uh, the Joe from Joe Rogan. So he removed his music, and uh, okay, that's fine. I don't really care either way. I, I didn't know the guy. I didn't really care, um, and I still don't kind of care. But what I do care about is how people are reacting to it. People are going and deleting their Spotify accounts because Neil Young doesn't like Joe Rogan and what, I, what he has to say. But here's the thing, we live in a free country where we can say practically whatever we want. I'm sorry, it's just the truth. Misinformation is not that scary. And by the way, if you are too, if you are not smart enough, or not smart enough, but if you're not educated enough to, to, to tell which is misinformation and which is not, then maybe you shouldn't be reading information. That's just my opinion. My opinion, take it or leave it. But anyway, so people are now canceling their Spotify and trashing Spotify because they removed his music. No, they didn't. He asked for his music to be removed from the platform, okay? And I support his move, I guess. I mean, if he wants to move off of the Spotify platform because he does not like how they allow Joe Rogan to speak, then that's totally fine. You know what? That's I'll, I'm right behind him. Sure. If Spotify said no, you can't remove our music because you, because whatever, then no, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be for Spotify. But I mean, I guess I'm not really for Spotify. I don't know who, I don't care who I'm for right now because that doesn't matter who I'm for. What does matter is how people are taking it. Now, you want to say that that Spotify is supporting Joe Rogan and his beliefs? Well, no, I don't think they're doing that either. They're just letting him have a platform. That's not entirely, that's not endorsements, okay? Let's remember that, people. It's not endorsements. Spotify probably doesn't even care either way about Joe Rogan. But see, here's the thing. We live in a society where you can say what you want, where you want. That's called the First Amendment. So Joe Rogan has a right to speak, and if Spotify allows him, then that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's up to you where to decide to listen to him or not grief so but now it's trending that cancel spotify is trending on twitter my thing is don't cancel spotify spotify isn't doing nothing wrong here spotify is just allowing the, him on the platform it's just like youtube why not are you are you going to start canceling youtube well what about twitter he's on twitter too are you going to start i think he's on twitter anyway i'm not quite sure but are you just going to start canceling twitter i mean are you going to cancel everyone else who he's on i mean Come on, you you gotta you gotta do both. You gotta go one or the you gotta go one or both ways. Delete every single platform that allows him on the face of the planet, or you know what? Just get over it. And the latter is more better because you're not going to remove him from society. You can't. He's just speaking. Basically, stop trying to cancel Spotify because they allow him on the platform. That's that's that, that's the main message of this goal today. Is this. To stop. Spotify in no way, shape, or form endorses the content that's on their platform, okay? You have the responsibility to make sure that you're not listening to stuff that you don't want to listen to. And if Joe Rogan's that guy that you don't want to listen to, guess what? Don't listen to him. You don't have to. If you don't like the guy, don't listen to the guy. And then tell your friends not to listen to the guy. And then people will make up their own decision on whether to listen to the guy. And if he's being listened to by a lot of people, then, hey, guess what? Maybe he's saying something that people like. And if he's not, then he's not. But you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm the Fighting 4 This is a quick episode of Flying and Speaks, and I will see you later.